I just want to say one more time because it's upon us. The fencing is on. It is the greatest disparity between how cool a sport should be and what the reality is. They come out dressed like they're about to perform surgery or something or, or they're beekeepers. I don't know what. And all the other sports, they get to wear the nation's colors. They get to wear uniforms. They look different. You so you know who's on what side because of the team colors that they wear. Why do they all have to wear the beekeeper outfit? I don't get that. And of all the sports to have a cool costume, fencing is the one. Why doesn't Japan dispatch a ninja? And why doesn't China have a samurai? And why doesn't Spain have, uh, or, or France have D'Artagnan in his big plumed hat? And why doesn't Iceland send a Viking or Sweden send one of those? Or England could send a pirate and so on. Why are we not seeing, how cool would that be if they came out with the cutlass of their nation's history versus a ninja sword and they had the outfit on? It would be the most popular Olympic sport, maybe the most of a uh, uh, popular sport, period. We got to start doing this. And no body armor and real blades and Dana White will produce it. Like, I guarantee it would rate. I guarantee you, right? That guy got his arm chopped off. How far away are we step. actually from that happening, by the way? The inventor of the slap, uh, slapping each other yeah. across the face as hard as you can is a sport. How far are we from having actual sharpened swords out there? Eh, maybe maybe 2037, uh, somewhere around there. Listen, that'd be awesome, though, for real. I really think that would be, if you had them go out there like that, people would all tune in to check it out. That much I can guarantee you.